Hey, what is up everybody welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you a drag and drop list using javascript so before going to the actual code let me just show you a short demo of that list so let me just open my browser and you can see we have a list consist of html css javascript and so on now if i move my cursor over here you can see it's getting changed and I can pick that HTML from the top and drag all the way down to the bottom. So you can see how cool is this. In this tutorial, we will be creating this cool feature. This is especially for beginners who are just uh, learning JavaScript. So before wasting more time, let's get into it. Let me minimize this. First of all, we have to create a folder. Let's give it a name, drag list. Now we have to open this in VS Code and you can see we have opened our project in VS Code. Now let's create index.html and inside index.html we need HTML skeleton. Let's give him a title. After that we need a bootstrap CDN so let me paste here. I have already copied this CDN from the browser. You can just type uh, bootstrap for CDN in Google and you will get these. Let's get into the body. Let's create container with the margin of 4, 5. Margin y axis and that will be 5. Alright inside container we need row. Let's make it center. And inside uh, row, we need uh, let's add HTML. After that, we need another div, and that will be handle and instant. Now, let's add some style, and that will be cursor and WebKit grab. Save it. Now let's see this in a browser how it's look. So we have our title here with our list item. Now let's add another items here. Let's copy and paste. Change this to CSS JavaScript. PHP by SQL. Now save this and let's see this. Alright, so we have our, our list item here. We have our title. Now let's add some custom CSS for these listing. So let's get back to VS Code. Now we need a CSS file here and that will be style CSS. Let's connect this in the header. So we have connected our styling sheet here. For the time saving i just fast forward the video for the css part and you can see we have our custom css here now let's see this in a browser how it's look and you can see our list is looking good so it's time to add some javascript so let's get back to vs code now let's add another file that will be script.js here we need <coughs> here we need a variable and that will be ua and let's assign document get element by id and that element will be a list after that we need ul and event listener and inside that we need slip before reorder When that is reordered, we need to call function. And 
the head pass the element inside that we need if statement and let's add demo no reorder after that we need to add test function and inside that we need to pass element target and class name Now inside if statement we need element and element default and inside here we need false save it now let's copy this function from here and let's paste here now we need to change this before swipe all this function and inside here we need to change this here we will be passing target node name input or no swipe after the test target dot class name save this now let's copy this function and let's paste here and here we need to add before wait and let's change if statement index of function and inside that we need instant which will be greater than minus one inside that we need to pass prevent default let me add some semicolons here here and here save this after that we need to after that we need to copy this function and let's paste here but this time it will be slip reorder and inside that we don't need if statement here we have to pass e target parent node and insert before inside that we need e target and insert before save this and after that we need to return that return false save this now after that we need a new object of slip and inside that we need to pass ul now we need variable items let's assign sign query selector all and let pass the handle let's add the for loop and now change the array name items remove this and here we need variable item which will be equal to items i after that we need to add item dot add event listener uh, mouse down function and inside this we need this variable style this variable style and cursor which will be assigned to webkit grabbing and 
Azure. Change WebKit to Moz. Now let's copy this. Add another. Let's add another. Let's change this to mouse over. And let's change this to mouse up. Now save this. All right, I think we are done for the JavaScript. Now let's test this out on a browser if it is working or not so let me open my browser refresh and if i pick this you can see it is not working so we have to check this all right i think this is not grabbing it's just a crab so let me change this and let's see if our javascript is connected or not so i'm going to check that Oh, I think our JavaScript is not connected, so we have to connect that web source and that will be web or JS. Save this. Now let's test this out in a browser. Refresh. All right, so let me just grab this and you can see it's working. Let me put here. Oh, I think it, it has another issue, so we have to check that. Let's get back to VS Code and here let's find the issue. Uh, I think I have to change this. This is not details, it's just a detail. Save this. Now let's test again. Refresh. Let me grab this and put all the way down. You can see it is working. And I can grab this here and here and i can grab this all the way up so that's when we are done here if you like our video please consider to subscribe our channel for more amazing tutorials and for now that's it and see you in the next video